Oh, it's sparkling actually. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing another video of The Sims 4 Dine Out today. So I'm really excited today because we're going to be showing, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the gameplay interactions and basically some objects that we have gotten for the new game pack, which is going to be pretty awesome. It is not in this house though, but we got some new stuff and I'm actually kind of excited though, but this is a family that I'm actually playing as a current household for a while and I did do a criticism of them as well and oh my gosh, she looks like I am going to push you down the stairs if you do not give me some food. But um, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, oh, this is, this is a few though. But no, I am actually going to be um doing a re gameplay slash review of the objects because I was going to do a separate video of the object stuff, but that was kind of what the the video that I did was kind of boring and I didn't want I didn't want my videos to be boring. I wanted to have been I wanted them to be upbeat and me just being random as I always am in every single video. But I feel like that I should just show you guys the objects that we have gotten and as well as some of the gameplay options and what are they doing? Are they woohooing in the shower? Is that a new option? Okay. I literally thought that was a new interaction for a second because I thought he was gonna hop into the shower as well and woohoo. Man, I miss it. I man, I miss the Sims 3 woohoo and interactions. That is whoo. But no, we're gonna go ahead and actually do some little gameplay options. First, we're gonna go actually to a new um what the actually there's a, there's a few pre-built lots, like a few a few pre-built restaurants that come with this new game pack and they're on the gallery. So if you go to your little gallery area over here, actually, and you go to your um What's it called? <laughs> Your little my library area. It should be there, and it's about a few pre-made lots. So there's like there's Hugan's Burger Bar, Sunnyside Up Diner, Shes Shes Lama Vala Bovine, the Diving Pelican, and then the Le Tant <laughs> Bistro. I don't know what that is sounding like, but. Yeah, there's like a lot of pre-made lots for you guys to put into your game and have your sims go ahead and sit there and have a little dine out with your family or whatnot. Mostly, I really like the Shea Llama one because it's more fancier, which is actually the most fancy a lot that they have built. And I do also like the, what's it, which one did I want to like? I am, I'm in between of like Sunny Side Up Diner and then like Hugan's Burger Bar. It's like... Like Hugan's Burger Bar is like very small and petite. It has like one bathroom. It's fine. It's outdoors and so it looks very nice. So I'm in between of those two, but I like the Shea Llama the most. So pretty much my favorite. And I did place down Shea's Llama out onto the world just because I wanted to do that. And it was like the most convenient one that I wanted to do. So let's go ahead and go to Shea Llama and have a little fun time with and show you guys a little interactions that we got. So yeah, I'm gonna go with my family because I can. Awesome, and then I'll be showing you guys some of the on how to get how to own your own restaurant and show you guys some like the perks and then the interaction you can do with your chefs and all everything like that and I will link down the live stream link so you guys can rewatch the live stream that the Sims did a couple of days ago and you can see what they did and some more of the in-depth stuff. I'm just showing you guys from my perspective and what I like and what I know about this about this game pack and what I just kind of know. And I did get this game for free, if you guys did not know. I said in my previous video, like, about like 30 minutes ago. And um, I did get this game for free by EA, so I did not purchase this game for myself. But um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not bragging or anything. I'm just saying that I'm really grateful that I got this game for free. But I do support The Sims a lot. I invested a lot into the game ever since it came out in 2000. <laughs> yeah, I was four years old four years old when that game came out oh four years old mostly um when i got like around like fifth no 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 17 17 i started purchasing purchasing the games for myself so here we are at shea llama and it might i say it's a very fancy fancy a little fans fans um little restaurant here so as you can see here you got little um dining area a little split level area and then over here, you, oh, what, what, did, what, what are you doing? What are you, oh, oh, she's going to order drinks at the bar. Okay. 
But as you can see here, um, you got Ava, the little beast she is. Um, she is actually the host. And she what, she what the host does is basically if you go to a restaurant, you would know that they stand here and they greet you saying, hello, welcome to our restaurant. How many is in your party? Yada, yada, yada. And then they would like write down little things onto their computer or paper, or whatever they have at the little table. And then they would go ahead and actually um, show you to your table. So we're going to go ahead and actually request a table. So um, can you, um, can you, Garrison, can you request a table? It's like, so um, how many is in your party today? Um, we have four. It's like, I have four, um, me, my wife, and my kids. And then the host would actually go to their computer screen and swipe and see what table is available for that night. And then it's like, follow me right away. So they will go ahead and actually, um, that was not for you. Okay. Oh, right this way. Okay, cool. And then the host would f um, show you to your table, which is pretty, pretty cool. And I actually do like that a lot. So... They go down here, they go to the table, and then the host actually shows them to the table. Actually, okay, okay, um, um, your table's, like, literally, like, all over there. Your family's over there. And then you get an interaction saying, here's your table, enjoy your meal. And then you have your little interactions, little things. Oh, look, little kids. Oh, and then you have your, all your family or how many parties you can do. Your parties go up to eight people, basically, like, eight sims in your household. And, um, it's pretty sub substantial, and that's going to be pretty cool. So, you can have eight sims in your party to, um, host. If you need a bigger table, I guess you would have to customize a lot and add, like, connect this table to that table. And all things like that. So, I want to actually have these kids in the right color of the table. <laughs> oh, look, so, bring out cake. Look, so, if you have a sim who's, like, having the birthday. Oh, my. You can have the chef make them a cake. And then I wonder what, what happened to sing a birthday song. But you can draw on the placemat, give a table, or order for the table. I'm going to have my kids draw on the little table. Oh, yes. Draw on play. Oh, and they get placemats, too. <gasps> look, 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 look. <gasps> oh, my. Okay, um, okay, okay. Oh, oh okay. Oh, what, what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing, sir? Huh? Oh, you're using the bathroom. Okay. Okay, I'm like, you better not leave. You don't got, we don't got time for that. So, and since we can come up and they, like, there won't be mute. That won't. Okay. What am I talking about today? I have no idea. So the Sim, I believe the Sims actually got rid of the musical chair the glitch thing that was happening. Actually, so your Sims won't be uh, actually getting up, getting down, moving around, spinning around, and having a flip all around or whatever they were doing all, all that stuff. But yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty weird though. I'm glad they got rid of that thing. So once you have a table, you cannot get out of your table unless you give up that seat or that table of your choice. So, let me go ahead and actually, look, she's like actually drawing on the placemat, which is so flippin' amazing. I cannot wait. Oh, it's like so amazing. And the good part about it, I believe they said, oh yeah, and adults can actually draw on the placemat too, which is kind of funny though. Their inner child is bringing them out. And it looks like father and son are having a little tinkle time. It's so nice. I love it. I love it. Oh, father and son having tinkle time. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have... I'm going to see what they, happens if you bring out a cake. Let's go and get um, a strawberry cake. I like that one. Oh. But does, what happens though? Okay. Um, clean up. I don't know what happens. Maybe they, maybe they sing up. I guess it's like every normal birthday possibly, I believe. So that's that's okay. So let's go ahead and order for the table. So as we order for the table, we just wait for the waiter. We just call the waiter and um, thank you. I would like this stuff like that. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. So when you're like a restaurant, you want to go to a restaurant with your family or whatever by yourself. Um, there is actually a little chef's hat right here, a little golden thing. It says chef's choice, and that what that is what the chef would recommend on the menu like the appetizers, the main course, and as well as the dessert. And each restaurant has their own different type of menu. Like I said, you can actually, well, I didn't say it, but in the trailer, you can actually customize your own menus to the restaurant of your, like, your, it depends on what theme that you want, and you can choose what drinks, your appetizers, your main course, and as well as your desserts that you want to choose for your restaurant. And if you guys wanted to do that, it's pretty much, it's kind of cool. And the good part that you can actually choose on who can have what drink and what appetizer and what, 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 what. 
So, um, this soft shadow of a chef's choice, the uh, two adults are going to have that, and then the kids, they're going to have some, oh, the kids cannot, cannot have, so the kids cannot have the, like, the adult drinks. So, what we're going to have the kids have is, oh, dang, this is a fancy restaurant. We're going to have them have sparkling water. Ooh, tasty. And then for the appetizer, what we're going to have is... I think we should have some of this stuff, and we're gonna order it for everyone as well, because I think that we should have we should have all of them try it, and it'd be kind of a good meal for them to have. And then I think we can order our main course later, because I don't want all of our stuff to have like at once. So let's see. She's a one just for a person. Let's see if I can actually do this. I, oh, oh, I can order for a table again. So okay, what is okay? Summer, you can move out the way. Oh, here's the waiter. Okay, good. So the waiter, um, it's like, I would like this. They just sit here and wait, and then they write down their order, your order on the pen and paper. And then, thank you, I will bring your order as soon as it's ready. And I believe you can order some more food. Yeah, you can, as, you can order as many times as you want. You can order about a thousand times. And what the waiter does is actually brings the ticket to the chef and says, this table needs this, and they will go ahead and cook it. And if your chef does not do a good job, they will end up probably burning the food, or they will end up setting the place on fire. Which I'll show you guys later after that, but I do want to show you guys what happens when you get the food. There can be a good or a bad outcome. The chef, the waiter actually can drop your plate on your face, or they can just serve it to you as a regular um, person. Or a person, or like an experienced um, worker. Can we actually clean up this? I'm placing it on the floor. Placing the cake on the floor because I can and I want to. Uh, but look at this little th Oh, look at that. Okay, it looks like a legit blob, though. A legit blob. So, um, what are you doing? Um, your name. We can order from table, John placement. There's no room for a placement to draw on this table. Okay. I'm going to have my other kid actually draw on the placement as well because I really think it's a cool idea. So, it's going to draw on the placement. And I believe, oh yeah, so here is the chef with our food. And as they do this, you like that. Oh, um, I was like, and where is my food? <laughs> Ooh, okay, so that's what the waiter does. They just kind of open up the thing and then voila. So here's your order and enjoy. And you get some new cool moolets as well. So you got the one coloring completed and then it says you have done your best and this is it's truly a work of art, and then you also get out to dinner from requesting a table at a restaurant. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> There's nothing like going out on a dinner for a big meal. Those chefs can really cook. Oh, really? They can really cook? That's funny. And it's basically the same thing for each and every person, unless you have a different type of, like, dish, I guess. And, oh, look at that. Are you cheating on your wife? Hmm? Are you cheating on your wife? Did she approve this and you just leave? They are criminals. They're skipping out on the bill. I think. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And what I believe so... To get really inspired for many things as well. Oh, and they actually take their fruit. So if only Alana had, a le had level 5 cooking skills, she would have learned to cook this experimental dish at home. Oh, yeah, and they learn stuff so much well, which is actually pretty cool. And I actually kind of like that, too. So, the Sim is going to, to the bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and actually order the main course so they can have a good, healthy meal. And end the meal and pay the, and pay the thing. So, we're going to call out the waiter again and order the next main course. So, let's going to order the main course, actually. And then we're not going to, we're going to skip dessert, probably. It's going to order for everyone for that one. And then for dessert, what we're going to have is this, the Cocoa Blocks, Crystallized Cocoa Blocks. Man, that bill's going to be expensive, though. <laughs> expensive. And it looks like the girls are going to um, have a little tinkle time, which is actually pretty cool. It's like, um, hon, can you get out my way, please? Thing and, thing. and she did not wash her hands. Okay, great. So the food should be out shortly, and I'm probably going to skip through this anyway, but I don't really care. Oh, she's, and she's actually pregnant, too. And that's pretty awesome. Oh, and it's also X, X, something, something else, too. I can't talk today. But an astonishing aroma from drinking nectar. Those aromas allow you to, allow the nose to paint a beautiful scene of rolling sun hills where nectar 
where it originates. Okay. And I believe that you can actually, um, something about nectar. I forget what it was, but it was something about nectar. I forgot. Um, you're old and where's my food? You're old and where's my food? Um, Katrina, Katrina, where's my food? Waiting for order, waiting for order to be delivered. Okay. So who's gonna bring my, who's gonna bring me my food? Is it gonna be her? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. And there's there's our food. So here's your order and enjoy. Ooh. Ooh, it's sparkling actually. That's pretty cool. So what do we get actually? So tangalizing tandy is from drinking nectar. The perfectly bitter balance lingers long after nectar is gone. Ooh, interesting. And then it says out to breakfast. So it all changes from like from breakfast to lunch to dinner. So now you have the breakfast out to breakfast. Alana believes that bre that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So why doesn't she cook it herself as if like as if she's gonna cook it herself, please? And what does it say? And you get some more moolets, some intriguing flavors, some experimental food while on the plate. Mm, while on the pl oh, you know, forget that crap. Forget that. So while while the plate is a bit of a mess, it has something special about it, and Garrison is quite figuring it out. Oh, and also, you can actually take pictures and post it on Instagram. I think. Wait, can you? Where's that? Oh, where is it? Where is that? I can't find it. Wait, wait. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Pause the game. Pause the game. Hold up. Where is it at? No. Take selfie. Take photo. Take photo of. Where? Okay, there was a Instagram type of thing. I forgot what it was. I don't know. I want to see what it's like. So I'm gonna have her take a picture. Take a picture with. Her husband actually was Garrison and see what happens because I really want to know what happens. And because I know there's like a Instagram type of thing and I want to involve that into this gameplay. Okay, I'm um, taking. Oh, oh, snap. Dang, they look dapper. Okay, let's go and take this picture like right there. Coolio, and we're going to take a nice little uh, more of a brighter tone picture for that Fall of Fame. Getting those picture shots though. I like it. So that should be good for now. Okay, she acquired the photography skill. Okay. Um, no, I don't want to set a filter. I want to see what it's like. Wait, where, where? Oh, dang, dang it. Where is it at? Where is the wall? Where is the wall I can place it on? I'm not sure where I can place my photo on. Okay, here it is. I can place my photo right here. Let's see. Oh, wait. I know I saw something about Instagram, and I don't know where I saw it from, but that's okay. I don't know. I don't care. It might be somewhere I'm not looking at, but we're going to gonna actually leave and pay the bill because we are done at this place, and I want to show you guys how we can actually purchase our own restaurant and acquire it. And since the restaurant hopes you enjoyed your meal, simoleons have been automatically deducted from your household funds. Okay, so cool. So now that we got that all squared away and ready to go, what we're going to do is actually... Oh, no, he's tired. Okay. What we're going to do is going to go ahead and buy a restaurant. So you go to this little cash register over here. And then you do this. Buy, purchase a restaurant. And you do this little fancy, fancy loading screen. And what it basically does is like the same thing as get to work where you like buy a retail shop. And then it goes to this like loading screen right here. And you go to whatever you want to go to for your for your lot and I have already built a lot for myself and I have done a speed build of it so you guys can check it out on my channel when it comes up very soon I'm not sure when but when you purchase a lot it just kind of goes towards this giving giving you all these like instructions and like it shows you what you have to do in order to be successful yeah you have some lessons you have some perks you have some employees you can hire employ customize your um, menus and you can customize your um, edit your employee what's it called employee outfits and you can do a, a whole lot of things when you become like a store owner and a good thing about the store owners is that when you're a store owner it kind of like it's all together in the family like if you keep on being in the family 
the restaurant is still yours and you still own it. So that's kind of a cool thing that I actually learned from the live stream that they did a couple of days ago. And we're going to transfer some funds to our household, I mean, to our restaurant. So as of right now, it says, so you bought a restaurant. Now what? Owning a restaurant is hard work. Approximately 59.5% of new restaurants fail within the first year. However, the proper management and skill employees and delicious menu uh, and a well pla- and a little plasma, sweat and tears, your restaurant will m- just may succeed. So we got some lessons here where we can actually go to dine out. So you have ratings, funds, perks, dining out, ownership, and employees. So we saw Ava just running that business like she got no business. Like she is working it all day and night. So ratings, we can also do, like see, you got little stars above their head for like how much you want to rate their restaurant. It says customers will enter your restaurant while while it's open and there are available dining spots. Your restaurant overall rating the time of the day and an advertisement will determine how many customers stop by. And funds and perks, basically like get to work. So here we got, it's like your restaurant name and then close and you got your stars, you got your growth opportunities and you can check back later. You got your customer count, meal profits, and as well as perks along with last finances as well and employee reports and whatnot and basic stuff. And what you all can do is actually set your price markup, advertisement, ingredient quality, mostly is that standard. You also have, I believe, standard and i think it's like high quality i'm not really sure yet but i don't have it i don't have that unlocked just yet but you can also do a custom edit your restaurant menu so as of right now i kind of just kind of customize my own menu to my liking you can also set it to your a load to a preset diner brunch experimental italian or seafood type of restaurant menu so i kind of like that idea so that's pretty cool and i believe and you can only actually set up to only 35 items for um to customize your menu which is kind of crazy though i don't well i think 35 items for like per like category like for only for like 35 drinks for for like I don't know, you can, like, do 35 drinks, and then you can do 35 appetizers, main courses, and then, like, desserts. And that's pretty cool. And you can do custom eyes, your chef outfit, your weight, your weight staff, and your host. And then I st- and you can do everyday wear, athletic, swimwear, formal party, or sleepwear for your dress code of your restaurant of your choice. And then this depicts what, cu- what your customer wears to the restaurant. If you're wearing a swimwear, you can't sit here, okay? So you can go back to your little rat hole where you live and go ahead and um, actually change your clothes to your formal wear. Okay, thank you. So that is pretty, pretty cool. And now it says all this. Okay, so now that we got all that squared away, what you can do is actually go ahead and manage employees. And what you can do is like, you can do one chef at a time. So what I'm going to do is going to hire this one right here because he has a bit of a Good cooking skill right here. It has level two, which is okay. Pay seven dollars an hour, and it's basically saying that get to work. So now you can do a waiter. For the waiter, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you have to look for a person who has a good charisma skill or a good like body skill. I'm not sure why, but it says influences how often a waiter may drop food while serving. So you have to watch for the good high fitness skill and good charisma skill. So it says influences customers' reviews of the service while meals are served. So you have to have a good waiter or you're going to have a bad review on the restaurant. So I'm going to choose um, the, what's her name? That lady. Because <laughs> I believe she is actually the hermit from Outdoor Retreat. So what we got here is also for your host who actually takes you to your table. So you also have to look for your comedy. So influences customers reviews for the while well, one seating. Okay, yada, yada, yada. And same thing as well for Charisma. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this either for Jagger or Ray. I'm going to choose Ray because he was the first one there. So now that I have all my employees all ready to go and they're all ready to waiting for their first shift to start tomorrow in the morning, what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and actually see what I can do. I can either promote them to level two or fire them. Either way, I can do whatever I want. So I have built this lot myself and it's so, so cool. It's actually on the gallery for you guys to download. If you didn't, if you guys did not have Dine Out already, it's 
kind of like my favorite lot I've already built so far. I have a lot more to come, so be look on be the lookout on my channel for more builds. So I'm gonna go to actually open my restaurant. This is open for business. The restaurant is now open and customers are ready to arrive and eat delicious food. So eat. If I ever plus ever press play, but that's okay. I'm gonna set her mood up to a good mood so I can actually show you guys some stuff that we can actually do. So let me go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But um, like I said, there is like a lot of good things that you can actually do with Dino, like in order like to be a good restaurant or be successful in life and all good sorts of things. So I'm actually gonna happy about that. So as you can see, we got our host. We also have our chef and then our waiter should be coming here at any moment, but we got an angry customer right here who needs to be having some good old times. So you can see here up above right here is that our, we have a right now the customer is rating our restaurant a three as of right now and you can see our house is actually doing a good old job and getting them their table and they're intertwined and you got a chef oh okay you, you can um be a good chef if you want to okay you got you got to do good you got to do good for the for the, the sake of our restaurant and if your restaurant fails you might end up being bad oh and see look this Right here, your customers don't like to be waited. And if you actually highlight on them, it says last option. I wish this place had much friendlier service. And what we can actually do to make the um, customers a lot more happier is we can actually go click on them and we can go to management and welcome them to our restaurant and make sure they're having a grand old time. So we're going to go and welcome them to make sure they're doing really well but so they don't leave and give us a bad review. So now that the customers are really all happy right now and they are actually on a family crowd. Oh. I just realized that they were all together and they're actually a family. Yeah. How dumb am I? Yeah. So now you, if you hover over them, it says last option. All this attention from the owner is making me feel really special right now. And I'm actually kind of happy about that. So you really do want to have your restaurant to be, have good ratings from your customers. And as you greet them and you wait for their, their table to be seated, they can just go ahead and go upstairs and there's actually more seating up here where there actually isn't. I should probably had actually placed more seating, but it's whatever. Um, as of right now, it's a small restaurant. It's not to be as big as expensive, but it's it's a good restaurant and I like I do like it. So we're gonna go up here and actually go greet our customers real quick. We're gonna go ahead and ch check on the table, and that's some another thing you can actually do for your customers to make sure they're not doing doing well and you see what they're up to so you can check on the table welcome them to the restaurant um give table free drinks give them free dessert or comp their food so it says for the free drinks this sim must have received their meal before they get offered free drinks and i believe this is right here out for breakfast that should be gone very soon it should be gone very soon as well and it says for the owner it says i'm stopping by to make sure the restaurant is living up to your expectations expectations so far and it should be doing well and the waiter wait where is that wait, hold up where is our waiter oh no hold up Did we we hired, we hired our waiter oh no where is our waiter at hold up where's our waiter oh oh no oh no oh oh, oh uh, uh, no where's where's our waiter waiter we hired a waiter she should be here um well well, uh, this, should, this is very embarrassing because I don't see my waiter. This is not good. Not good. Not not good at all. So let's go to management. We're going to welcome them to the restaurant, actually, so that we can um, be good. So since our waiter is not here, I don't see her on the lot. I'm going to have to go ahead and fire her because she's not doing a very, very good job as of right now. And I want to go ahead and hire a new one. Okay, where wherever she is at. I'm going to search for her. Because I do not see her down up. I don't see her up here at all. She's not down here at all. She's not even outside. Okay, so if your waiter does not, sh if you're one of your employees do not show up and you can't do really, you can't really like actually serve them or order what or they want they want for actually, you can't see what they want for, for dinner or breakfast or brunch or whatever they need. Only the waiter can actually do that. The f I know the restaurant cannot function. We're going to go ahead and hire this lady right here, Amora Frey. We're going to hire her. 
So she's hired right now. Um, it's no longer working. And here is our waitress right now. So she's gonna go ahead and actually go upstairs. Hopefully she goes upstairs and actually go ahead and gets the customers. We're going and feeling them welcome now. Oh, goodness. Right. So check on the table. So it's gonna check out on their table actually. And should Mora, Myra, Mora. Yeah, so here our waiter, our waitress is actually coming up here, seeing what they actually want for, for food, for food wise actually. So she should be waiting. So she waits for them to see what their decision is actually is. Just checking to make sure the service is what you needed, and it should be. Oh, oh, yeah, and look right here, the wait time. This is something that they don't like. I am not very happy about the the wait time here. So we're gonna go ahead and actually go over here, and profile the food. So. Oh, this will help them. Oh, let's not actually do that, actually. So what we're going to do is going to go downstairs and talk to our chef and see what's actually taking very, what's taking long for him to get things going. So what we can do for our chefs and our host and our waitress, what we can do is actually pay for the training for like brief training or whatever they need to do to in order to be good at what their job. Request cooking speed. We can do carefully, normally or quickly. I highly suggest doing it normally or carefully so they don't burn the food. We can check on them. Um, we can criticize them to make sure they're not they're doing better. We can fire, praise, or promote them or demote them to be whatever. So we're going to go ahead and check up on and find out what how satisfying. Okay, let's go and check up on our employees and see what they're doing, how well they're doing. As of right now, the customers are doing... The customers don't seem to be appreciate my work right here. At least they're not complaining either. So it sees that it looks like the um one of the foods are actually done for the customers. So the wait time is not doing so so hot right now. And it looks like they it looks like they got their food, but they didn't. So they got here before they did, which is kind of kind of irritating. Which is kind of well, actually no, they got there before they got there. So that's kind of okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and actually have him. So let's see, we're gonna go ahead and request speed to be. Normally, let's see carefully, and I'm gonna do normally. And got the next one going out as well, so this should be actually pretty great. So now they got this little bar of the head saying, "Wow, take a look at this atlas. This meal is amazing. Oh, I'm so glad you think this food is amazing. Oh no, one star, one star. They should have their food right now. And a good thing that their at least more is actually doing a good job with her." Cooking skills, so as of right now, it's we got our little thing. It says, this place is great. I'm so happy. Thank you, Liberty Lee and um, um, Travis Scott. So as of right now, I'm not very happy with the wait time. So they should be enjoying their food very quickly. So we're going to click on them. Oh, we can't because they already paid for the food, which is okay. So so far, we have been open for eight hours and we have two reviews. So as of right now, our growth opportunities is wait time and service. Excellence is meal value. Sweet. So their options should change very quickly. I'm not really sure when, but soon if they need to be changed very well. So now that we have another customers, we can actually see what they're up to. Actually, so we're going to go ahead and talk to our waitress real quick. So we can, um, or our waiter. And we're going to check up, check up on her, see what she's like, and check up on our employees, make sure they're doing a very good job, and make sure they're not feeling stressed out or tired or don't feel like they're appreciated enough in that job. So I feel like they should, we should really care for our customers. Oh, oh, we got one star. Dang it, dang. Work is what work is. It's just a means, it just, it's just a means to an end of me. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, I don't know what that means. But we're going to also see what she's up to. We're going to go ahead and uh, praise her for what she's been doing for keeping up the little thing right here. And we're also going to actually have our, we're going to criticize our, our little um cook right here because he actually needs to go a little bit faster, a little bit more to be a better cook and actually cook stuff better. Wonderful. I tried to be a motor, um, a model employee and looks like I'm efforts are paying off. So we're gonna go to management, we're gonna go ahead and welcome them to the restaurant and as well as check up on their table. And the waitress or waiter actually cleans up the table for them and they go to their waiter station and then put the dishes into that. Little area over here which is actually pretty great. And what is this? All the sentences making from the owners can be real special. Cool. 
So we're gonna go and actually have him go ahead and request dinner speed for carefully because we really need this food to go out for our customers and make them make sure they're actually doing pretty well and actually happy. So we're gonna actually we're gonna pay for his training for a brief training. The restaurant chef needs more training for, okay, yeah, I, I can see that. We, so he needs more training. So if you get this, we need to actually have him go pay for it for more training, which is actually pretty cool. So the off the offsite training, will there be an hospital course? Don't tell me, I wanted to be surprised. <laughs> you, Matthias, you are hilarious. So the workers should be going to training very soon. We're gonna check up on our host to see what he's up to actually make sure he's doing well and feels appreciated as well restaurant we can actually request our own table if we wanted to we're going to check up on him see what he's doing and we're also going to go ahead and praise him for he, what the work he has done it's like you're doing a great job work 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 you better work 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 you see me someone dur, 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 dur. I think we should go ahead and promote him to a host level two, paying him six simoleons per hour. But then again, I feel like we should go do some brief training for him for hosting and as well as for our waitress for him as well. So the food, the people have got their food and that should be going well. And we got seven reviews so far. So as of right now, everyone is leveling up besides our waitress. What we need to work on actually is our service and our wait time as well. Try hiring more waiters or a chef. If food still if food still taking too long to get to the tables, re rearranging your floor plan. Um, okay, training the host and waiters to level up their skills, improving their moods, will also improve their service. So we need to actually improve our host and waiter skills. So we're gonna go ahead and actually have us go to manage more and pay for our training for a brief training for that. Thanks. I appreciate investing my f investing. Appreciate you investing into my future here. I'll go to class next time. I'm off to work. Okay, cool So once we close off our area, we'll be going to doing all of that Okay, so that is, should be pretty well and fine and dandy and we also got some perk points that we can actually do We got curious customer additional waiter So what we can do for curious customer making customers occasionally wish for recommended recommendations on what the order on what to order from the management and unlock ability to give recommendations through the recommend recommendation dish social. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that I should go ahead and get the curious customers and see what happens with that. And like once we open up next time or when another customer comes through to get some food for dinner, brunch or dinner, whatever they need to do, I believe that we'll be able to do the curious customer interaction, which would be pretty awesome. And I'm actually kind of excited for this. And our restaurant is actually doing pretty well. Even though they have one star, we need to improve on our service and our wait time skills. I believe that we'll be successful in no time. So the, so more should be coming up here and actually clean up. Oh, we can actually clean up our own stuff too. Yeah, you know, you should be doing your job. You should be doing your job. And we can actually have, oh, I forgot these people out here. I totally forgot them out here, for sure. So now she feels tense. Great, from not romance. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, oh, they already had two stars, which is um, not good. So we're gonna go to manage right here. And we're gonna go ahead and check up on their table and we're gonna see what how they're feeling. Of course, we're gonna welcome them to our table. It's like, welcome to our restaurant. Thank you to Mastrio's place. Um, I will be your, I'm the owner of this place. I hope you're doing well. And I did call this Mastrio's place. I'm not really sure why. I just wanted to because it was really a uh, cool name I got from the internet. So our customers should be um, getting it pretty well. Patronized food. Patronizing the table's food will help it come more out quickly. So I'm thinking I should try this. A little bit more so I'm gonna see if I can actually have him speed up the process of the cook speed so let's do this quickly see if we can actually go a lot quicker with this stuff yeah it's like, like can you go quicker with this food you guys you gotta speed up the process please so now we have a one and a half stars sweet so let's go ahead and have this do a patronized food so the food will come faster if we do this right here so once we do that, the food is right here. The wait time, you're too important to wait. We're gonna make this food come out in pronto. And look what happened, the food came out pronto. So you won't be starving tomorrow, okay? Um, it's starting to get tired of working for too long as part of his job is gonna, oh. Okay, so if you get this, our customers, our workers might actually quit if we 
work them too hard. So we're going to go and actually have him do it normally, actually. And then we're going to see and try. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and close up shop. It's going to get tired of working so long. So we've been over for 13 hours. So we're going to go and close for the night and do that. So we have, we have served nine customers. We have been open for 13 hours. Our sales have been 676 millions. Our ingredients have much that cost, profit, um, we just own no advertisement and we have only earned about 186 millions. And then it gives you the customer's reviews, what we need to work on, service and wait time for our restaurant and for excellence with our meal value. So it looks like everyone is actually leveling up in their skills. So leveled up, mixology level four, uh, level four for the gourmet cooking skill. So level three, level two, and then level two and level three for that. So it looks like our employees will be doing pretty well in the little area. And I believe we cannot get another employee until we get another perk, which is going to be not quite for another while until we get about 350 perk points to get another waiter or another sh like 750 for another chef. And for another host, we cannot get another host. We only can have one host. So I believe that that is pretty much it for now because we have done everything we need to do. I think I covered everything. So we have a new fish tank that right we got some fish tanks. So we're gonna order a full stock of fish right here. So this is actually another one that we got for some objects. We got a new fish tank. We also got a new a host table, some new tables, some new chairs, some new paintings, of course. I love this one right here the most because it's actually kind of cool. And we also got a sign, some new signs as well. And what you can do with this one right here is actually remove this and actually change it up if you wanted to for a different thing, which is actually a cool idea. So you can remove it and actually sell it and change it for the better. Like I said, I want to like do like this right here. I can place it right there. And I can also do like this like here. And I can also place it on the sign. Like this would be like blah, 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 coffee, whatever, or something like that. And we got a whole, a whole different type of things. We got some boost tables that we can actually have. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to go ahead and place some more stuff out here to connect for more families. They have some more room so we can connect a little bit more. So I believe that would be kind of a good option. So I have seen that. Like if you saw earlier, we had like a little family over here and that one child like right here. So I was kind of necessary to have a little bit more seating areas and it looks like some food is laid out over here. So I believe that is pretty much it for now. So, um, yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below all your thoughts and suggestions down below. What do you think of Dine Out so much? Well, so far, actually, because I really enjoy Dine Out so much. I love food. I love everything that comes with Dine Out because it's like Dine Out is like the best pack ever of that they have ever made. I cannot even ask for more. So, yeah, I'm really loving Dine Out a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below all your thoughts and suggestions down below. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time in the next video. But what I want to show you guys bef before I actually end this video real quick. I want to go ahead and warm myself up here. <laughs> I'm going to warm myself right here. We're going to warm myself. This is actually called, um, I think it's called a heat warmer probably. And it says um, warm surroundings. Nothing beats the heat. Beats having the warm and fuzzies. Ooh, interesting. And I can't wait for this family to grow even more and more and have more restaurants and expand a lot more to bigger places and have a lot more time to do better what they can. It's basically be more experienced and I can't wait to see what happens when you can actually have a better restaurant and what happens when you get a five-star restaurant. More things happen, more opportunities and all that stuff. I wonder if you get a food critic though. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think you get a food critic, but I'm, I'm thinking though. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below all your thoughts and suggestions down below. Comment down below what is your favorite item in Dine Out? What is your favorite interaction? What is your favorite food? And tell me in the comments below what is your, what kind of build you're going to do and what kind of menu items you're going to choose or like what type of theme you're going to do for your restaurant or that you're going to build. And um, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see your builds and your creations and what you're going to do. And uh, yeah. I hope I talked the best way I could. Hope I spoke clearly and functionally as much as I can. And this girl is like flipping hungry because she is eating for two for most. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.